Hello there, Cancer. How are you doing? It's so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I am so grateful that you're here. So today I am doing your April 2022 General Tarot reading. So we'll take a look at the overall energies for the month of April with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the Tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. Okay, so let's get into your reading, Cancer. Let's see what we have. Eagle Spirit. Spirit has your back. Okay, so, um, you know, I, I feel like, you know, we are in airy season. We just had the spring equinox, so it's all about starting this new astrological year. You know, putting, planting the seeds in the spring, at least in the northern hemisphere, but planting the seeds right now that will help, uh, you know, to bring in whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, whether that's a relationship, a career, a job, a business. Um, and understanding that when you step into that energy, you listen to your intuition, you connect with spirit, that spirit will have your back. When you're taking those actions, um, you know, uh, it is about the universe will recognize your efforts and also help bring in, you know, what it is that you need in order to continue on your path towards, uh, you know, reaching your dream or your destination. Okay, so let's go to the Tarot. Yeah, your present energy is the Three of Swords. You, you've you hit some disappointment, you know, and I got that um, when I pulled this card. There's been some disappointment, whether in a relationship, a job, a career, something. You know, something is disappointing. It could have ended or it just hasn't turned out the way that you thought it would. Um, you, you know, this could be anything. This could be, you know, um, you, you bought a new house. You thought it was going to be the house of your dreams. And now you just found out, you know, it has bad plumbing. You have to replace all the plumbing in the house or something. You know, it's just something hasn't worked out the way that you thought it would. And, you know, you may be thinking, oh my goodness, how did I get myself into this position? Yeah, death card on the bottom. So it's a sense that something has come to an end, you know, whether that is a hope, a dream, a relationship, um, you know, or some situation. It's come to an end and it's about stepping into that energy of accepting the ending so that you can start afresh. You can start, you know, every ending has a beginning. So, um, and realizing that spirit has your back at this time, that your angels and your spirit guides are traveling with you as you are, you know, um, going through this um, tra transformation because the death card is all about transformation, you know, learning the lessons from something that was difficult um, and taking that wisdom as you move forward. Okay, so let us see what your area of resistance is. Yeah, you're having a hard time moving forward. You know, this is a difficult energy. I'm getting a difficult energy with this. It's such a disappointment that it's kind of like you're you're a little bit staying focused on this instead of focused on where it is that you want to go. And yet at the same time, look at this. You have the six of wands on the bottom. The, the sense of victory is yours. You're wanting to move towards victory. You're just having a hard time um, taking action and moving in that direction. So uh, let's see. Um, we're going to come back and clarify these. Okay. Yeah. Queen of Cups. You know, the, the, the part of the journey right now is going within and learning to truly love yourself. Whatever has ended has you know, um, kind of rocked your world a little bit. So you may feel um, a little unsure of yourself, like your self-confidence. Um, and so this is kind of stepping back and really going within. The Queen of Cups is very intuitive. She also knows, um, you know, and it's not about gender. It's about the energy of going within uh, intuitively listening to spirit because spirit has your back. Your spirit guides and angels are on this journey with you. They're trying to communicate to you, um, listening to those messages. And also at the same time, the queen of cups understands she has to fill up her own cup of love before she can love others, before she can step onto that path of loving other people. Um, 
Yeah, seven of wands, you know, um, a sense that you are going to overcome this, but it takes a lot of strength. You know, it's a strong man trying to pull back the bars of the cage um, in order to, you know, find the victory that you're looking for in this situation. Okay, so let's see what um, the outcome is here. Knight of Swords. Yeah, finding your determination and moving forward. Um, after you, you know, come into this sense of understanding that every black cloud has a silver lining. Um, Ace of Wands. I love it. <laughs> a new fresh start. Love it. Yeah, that's going to be victorious. And once again, the Three of Pentacles to me is Spirit is working with you in order for you to find the victory that you're looking for in this situation. Um, you know, sometimes it's really hard. Remember, you had the death card. Sometimes it's really hard to start afresh, right? This is starting new, understanding that, okay, you know, something is ended. Accepting that, looking for the blessings in that situation, the wisdom that you have gained from that situation, and now saying, okay, I'm ready to start again. Really nice. You know, Cancer, I also do personal reading. So if this is resonating with you, um, you know, and you'd like more information about that, the uh, link is in the description box below. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so this is, you know, I really feel like this is a love relationship. You, we have the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands. Something did not work out in a, in a relationship, a romantic, I feel like it's a romantic relationship, but it could be a family relationship because the Four of Wands is the family card. Um, something didn't work out the, the way that you thought it would. You know, it's kind of like your your dream, your wish is kind of dashed, you know. And it's left you just not knowing which way to turn next. Um, you know, a sense of, wow, I did not expect that at all. You know, I did not expect this relationship to end. I did not expect to have this disappointment in this relationship. Even if the relationship hasn't actually ended, we did have the death card, but if the relationship hasn't ended, it's some difficult disappointment that you are realizing in this relationship and it really is leaving you questioning you know uh this person the situation yourself okay questioning you know your decisions you know that whole um type of energy it's a very difficult energy you are moving out of it though so i love that it's um you know it's a situation where you may have to just sit with it a little bit um and listen to your intuition to your spirit guides um and realize that you are moving from turbulent waters into calmer waters um this is your obstacle you know but that is what you are doing. It is taking some time. You're having a very difficult time moving forward. Um, and, you know, we all heal at different paces, right? Um, you know, I love the Knight of Pentacles that you are moving forward because the Knight of Pentacles takes their time and does the healing process correctly, right? Um, doesn't rush it, you know, um, doesn't end one relationship and jump into the next right away. Takes their time to, you know, gather the wisdom from the, or gather the lessons, you know, um, learned in the situation so that they can move forward um, much wiser, because of it so let's see what we have here with yeah just a lot of anxiety knight of cups you know perhaps you want to express your feelings to somebody else or they're wanting to express to you i feel like you may not be talking you know there's a sense of i want to move on but i just don't know how you know uh, almost a sense of do i want to you know for some of you you may be in conflict with this person Maybe not really talking, but you haven't truly ended the relationship. You're, you're, you know, kind of on the sense of let's just separate for a while or, you know, um, you know, kind of take some time to think about what we want to do next. But I feel like you're in this energy of you don't know what you want next. You're still sitting with that, right? 
Um, you put a lot of time and energy into this relationship and you're not really sure, do I want to move on or do I want to try to amend this relationship? Um, but even if you're trying to mend it, it's about taking the relationship from turbulent waters into calmer waters. Yeah, so I send you lots of love and hugs because Cancer, I feel like this is a, you know, a difficult energy at this time. I really feel like for some of you, you are considering going back to this relationship. Like you're not truly moving away from the relationship. There's a lot of energy of, okay, can I salvage this relationship? So let's see where we go with this. Um, with the Queen of Cups, we have the Five of Cups, the King of Wands, the Three of Cups. Four of Swords on the bottom. I feel like for some of you, this could have been a third party situation with the King of Wands and the Three of Cups. Um, that won't resonate with everybody, but a sense that, you know, the, uh, a third party does not have to necessarily be, uh, somebody else as in a rom another romantic connection, but something that kind of takes the energy away from this relationship, something that is a little bit flashier, more fun, you know, so it could have even been a hobby. Um, it could have been drinking. You know, it could have been, um, this is a, an energy of, um, you know, the, the relationship was kind of stable, okay, happy home and everything, but somebody um, in the relationship decided that they wanted something that was a little bit more fun, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, okay, we have this, it's stable, but um, almost a sense like somebody felt like it was boring, you know, oh, uh, so there is this energy of, well, I'm going to go have some fun. Um, this could have been you. This could have been the person that, you know, um, that you're dealing with. Uh, and once again, the fun does not mean that it had to be another person. It could have just been this energy of, well, you know, I want to go out more often. I, uh, you know, uh, I, I just, I, I want to get out of the house. I want to go out with my friends. I want to, you know, just kind of this energy of, I want to go have some more fun. Um, now, this is, you know, your advice. It's about putting love into yourself. I feel like it's almost a sense of stepping back into an energy of loving yourself instead of looking for, um, uh, I don't want to say love, but excitement. I feel like uh, there's an energy of I'm not excited enough about my life. I want something that's a little bit more exciting. And so there's this sense of going within and asking yourself, um, you know, is this, why am I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, why, why am I or why is this person trying to look for excitement, more excitement? Maybe the two of you need to have more excitement together, right? Maybe the two of you need to um, have a more playful spirit between the, the, you know, the two of you, because the King of Wands is also this energy of passion, you know, reigniting the passion. You also have the Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands, you know, kind of like getting, getting the, you know, the passion juices <laughs> flowing again, because there's a sense that we've lost, there's this sense that, well, we've lost the fun of our relationship. And it's, it's kind of like, well, can, can we get it back? You know, can we get a fresh start in this? It's about, uh, I, I'm going to keep coming back to this Queen of Cups, you know, about they're um, putting, you know, I'm taking it to a broader perspective. It is about putting the love into yourself, knowing that you have to fill your own cup up before you can love others, right? But I feel like there's also this sense of filling the relationship that you have with this person. This will not resonate with everybody. But if this is a relationship you think you would like to salvage, it is about filling up the, the cup of love of the relationship, putting the love, 
having this new inspiration, new start, this fresh start, you know, with the spring and everything. It's kind of like, yeah, let's get the fun back into this relationship because something obviously went um, awry, you know, something happened here. Um, but this is lovely energy. <laughs> Two of Cups, Four of Wands. This is a twin flame. This is uh, your soul connection, right? Um, it's about how can we feel, you know, if you think about a twin flame, it's, you know, a one soul that has been split. And it's almost as if thinking of the two of you together as one soul and filling up the cup of love for that connection. I'm really getting that very strong. It's a sense of healing this connection, of learning how to heal it. Nine of Pentacles, you know, um, working on how to um, build the the lasting love that you're learn that you want. But I also feel like the other person does too. So Knight of Swords. What do we have? Three of Wands, Knight of Cups, King of Swords, the Sun. Yeah, it's um. You know, getting determined. What is it that you want out of this connection? If you really want to leave this connection, it's about, okay, I'm getting determined and I'm leaving the connection. It's like, I'm not going to sit here on the black cloud anymore. I've got to either move forward or I have to put the love back into this connection. It's about getting determined about where you're going to go and getting the clarity about what it is that you truly want. It's almost like you have to get real with yourself, right? <laughs> it's like, okay, what do I really want? It's about going in intuitively and asking yourself, what does this person mean to me? You know, do I want this person in my life? And if I do, right, then what, what needs to happen in order for us to have a fresh start in this connection? Um, and it is about expressing your love. I feel like this is kind of almost like a new path for you. You know, it's been a, kind of a little bit of a journey about how to express um, your love for this person or you're waiting for this person to express their love to you. Um, but I do feel you're, you're at, you know, you are getting the message to take action on this relationship. I feel like you you have, um, whatever has happened in the past, I feel as if you are in the, in the place of kind of being able to make the decision about uh, where this relationship goes next and whether it, it, it is able to be mended or not, you know? I think you're kind of like in the driver's seat. <laughs> Cancer. Okay, what am I grateful for right now? Adopt an abundance mindset. Gratitude is the antidote to all of our problems. It is impossible to be fearful and grateful at the same time. Gratitude improves our health, opens our hearts, and changes our state. And I, I feel like that is part of this Queen of Cups, right? of putting the love back in not only yourself, but into this connection about being really grateful for this connection, even though there was something bumpy that happened. Not, not denying that. This was a difficult energy. You had um, something very disappointing in this relationship happen. Um, and it's kind of like, okay, are, are you going to try to salvage this relationship or are you going to try to, are you just leaving it? Now, if it's a toxic relationship, you know, okay, you probably need to move on, right? But the other thing is, is that part of our path here is about learning how to mend relationships, of understanding that we gain a lot of soul evolution. We gain a lot of wisdom when we can go through something difficult with somebody and then also mend it, you know, forgive what has happened in the past and start anew. You know, it is time. You're being kind of almost called to start anew with this person. Um, and you'll know, Cancer, if this is somebody you should be with or not. It's about going into your heart, you know, listening. Is this somebody you want in your life? If it is, then it is also about taking action on that. 
Okay, listen. In stillness, you meet your true self. I love this because I feel as if, you know, sometimes when we've gone through something difficult like you have, we we can tend to say, oh, well, I don't want that person in my life anymore. I'm moving on, right? But you're having a hard time moving on. And I feel like your, your soul, spirit, and spirit has your back in this, right? Is asking you to come back and take another look at this relationship and how you feel about it, you know? And then going ahead and deciding what action you want to take, you know? Um, because I feel like you're, you're kind of like uh, waffling. You know, there's a lot of sleepless nights. Do I want this person or do I not? And it's about um, kind of almost like going within, finding that answer, and then being determined to go either into a new direction with the Ace of Wands or into a new path with this person, you know, going back and mending it. And I'm going to come back sometimes when we take the time to heal a connection um, you know, that healing has ripple effects in, uh, in the whole collective, but it also helps our soul to evolve um, very quickly because it is where we're going in and we're working, we're healing that connection instead of just moving on from it. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Um, once again, if you resonate with the message, um, uh, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing. I love to read your comments and how the, um, the reading may resonate with you. I do wish you so much love and light, and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.